They'll take over at the 20. Ace backfield. Curtis pitches out to the right. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. Well, he just couldn't get much of anything there. No, Brad, he couldn't. And I think the offensive line's going to have to hold their blocks longer than they did on that play. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 18. The Pioneers line up with three wide. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And that one's fallen incomplete. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on their own 18. The Wildcats bring in their dime package. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. The Pioneers are lining up the punt it away. Number 43 gets it off. Harris takes it at the 43. He step arm. Great job by the defense last time forcing the pick. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few runs here by the offense to start things off. They'll go to work at the 43-yard line. The Wildcats line up with two tight ends. He's looking down the middle. Got it. Johnson with a takedown. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31. They line up in a double tight set. They'll throw on first down. He steps up. Wants to throw outside. Complete. And he's taken down. And they get five yards from that completion. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 26-yard line. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. It falls incomplete. The defense came with a blitz that time, and that might have caused him to misfire that one. Third and five. Ball on the 26. The Wildcats go with the eye formation. He drops back. He lobs it out to the left side. Incomplete. What a play. Wow, I like this play here. He timed his hit perfectly and separated the football from the receiver. Jeffrey comes in to kick the field goal, and he's going to have to get a leg into this one. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. And that was not an easy kick, guys. Forget about it. This kid can make it from 60 yards or further. A field goal is the difference as we head to the fourth quarter.
Jeffrey is lined up to kick this one off. Webster and Johnson back deep to return. Kicks it deep. Webster fields it in the end zone. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll get the ball here at the 18-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Got it to his receiver. And he's all the way down to the 43-yard line. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Pioneers come out in the ace formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. A two-yard run by the halfback. Gain of two on the play. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 45-yard line. They line up with trips to the right. Curtis on the option. Bowers. Brings him down. He keeps it and picks up maybe a yard. They're down in seven. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Pioneers line up in an eye formation. Here's the option. Spins up field. Big opening. When you break one like that, you've got to give credit to the offensive line. The guys, let's take another look at that play. It's first and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Trips right. He'll get the call again. Lake with a takedown at the 43. Just a yard there. Second and nine. Ball on the 43. Three wide outs to the right side. Alexander gets it on the counter left. Jakes off a tackle. Spin move. Blanchard brings him down at the 31-yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. It's first and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. Alexander is the single setback. And they got him for a loss. He was stopped in his tracks on that one. Oh, yeah, and that's because of the nice pursuit by the defense there. Second and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. Single setback for you. Drops back to pass, and it's caught. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That's a two-yard loss. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. He drops back. Pressure coming. Steps up, and he can't get away from the pressure. I'm going to have to question that play call. Brad, in fact, if I may offer a suggestion, whoever's in charge of the controller, put the controller down, and why don't you go pick up a textbook on Football 101? And this will be a...